start off this tape resist tree painting by putting your name on the back of our paper. Then draw a bumpy, wavy line across the paper for the horizon line. Each piece of tape that you're going to use for your tree, you'll rip it off and before you put it onto your paper, you need to stick it to something else. It can be a piece of fabric like your jeans or your shirt. It can be any, any other surface that will take just a little bit of the sticky off the tape. That will help you later. Now I'm going to put down these pieces of tape, but notice that the sides of the tape are very, very straight. And I want my trees to have organic lines, so they should be kind of bumpy and imperfect. In order to make them that way, I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to rip it so that it will give me that nice bumpy edge. And I'm going to use that to give my tree a bumpy edge like it actually would be in nature. These are called organic lines. They're not straight and they're not perfect, but they do look like they are growing and they're out of nature. I'm going to repeat the process of taking tape sticking it down, and then ripping it. Those ripped edges make very good tree branches and tree trunks. So I'm going to add this bumpy line to the side of my tree trunk, and then I'm going to keep adding to my tree trunk before I then add the branches. Remember that tree branches always end in a point. They get from bigger to smaller. They're thin little lines, so as you tear your piece of tape, look at it before you actually put it down on your paper. You are kind of building the tree from the ground up. Keep adding tree branches. Even those little tiny thin pieces of tape that you tear off, they make great little points to each of your branches. to decide whether you want to create a fall background with warmer colors or if you want to create a winter background. I'm going to start by showing you fall colors. I'm going to lay in right on top of that horizon line that I made some watercolor paint. You can paint right on top of your tape because the tape will be the part that blocks out where the trees will be. I'm going to paint my entire scene so from the grass all the way to the sky. I'm starting with some green tones and it's good to mix more than one um, of your greens to make the grass. And then I will add in the orange, reds, and yellows up above to make those beautiful fall colors that you would see in fall foliage.
scene might look like. I'm going to use those cooler tones, so a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, mixed together on the sky. painting until I fill up that entire sky. Notice that I'm leaving the bottom of the paper underneath the horizon line. I'm going to leave it white for the snow. The only place I'm going to add any paint underneath my horizon line is next to the tree trunk. I'm going to paint a shadow in a diagonal line right next to and attached to my tree trunk. two versions of the tree side by side so that you can see the contrast between the two. Now it is time to take the tape off. I am going to very carefully peel off the tape. If there are any pieces that are pulling up from your paper, it's okay, but try to stop it before you rip a hole in your paper. This is why it's so important to take the tape and place it on another surface so that it takes some of the sticky off. So that way it will not rip your paper. Now as I'm taking it off, if you do have little flaps that get pulled up, we can go back later and add some glue in them, but very carefully try to remove all the tape. with you will have a white space a silhouette of each of your trees now any little flaps that maybe got pulled up that need to be glued back down you can just use a glue stick and glue those down to keep any further rips from happening and that will help you as you finish off your trees So now I'm going to use black 
color pencil to create texture lines on my trees. I created these to be birch trees, so they have a black um, texture line that is on the white bark. That's why I'm not painting my trees any other color. I'm not adding brown to them as we would think of bark being, but these are going to be white with black texture lines um, that I'm going to create now. Also, any branches that maybe got a little muddy or um, need some help, you can take your color pencil and add on to them. Um, that's the beauty of this project. So each layer of the trees and each layer of the project will add more and more depth and detail to your trees. what other elements and what other details you want to add to your landscape. I'm going to add just a little fence right along my horizon line that I created at the very beginning. And a fence is pretty simple, just some straight lines that are connected by horizontal lines. Um, all the way across my horizon line, you could create a path, you could have leaves falling. All of those details are things that you can add to make your artwork even more extraordinary. trees I'm going to add a shadow. This is what will create value and make it look as if my trees are three-dimensional. I've picked up a, an indigo blue, a dark blue, and I am going to create a diagonal line straight from the trunk of the tree and a, I'm going to create the shadow just on one side of the tree. Pick a side and you have to continue on that side. So I started out on the left and that's going to be the side of my shadow. It's on the left on both of my trees. And then I'm also going to lean my diagonal line right out of the left side of my tree. I'm then going to add a shadow to the left side of other branches. It doesn't have to be all the branches, but it does help it the effect of a shadow if you continue the pattern. So um, add the shadows on each of the branches, or at least the, the larger of your branches, to help create value that will make your trees look realistic and three-dimensional. I'm just going to finish off these trees by adding a few dots of fall colors to appear as those leaves that might be falling off or the very vibrant leaves that are getting ready to fall. I'm just dotting around with reds, oranges, and yellows on my paper. winter scene, if that is the one that you created, the same concept of creating the texture lines with that black color pencil, go ahead and add the lines that are curved and that will make the tree look more three-dimensional and rounded and it also adds the texture to the bark.
thinking of a winter landscape, there won't be leaves on the branches, but more bare branches might be visible. So just keep that in mind as you're adding on any extra branches with your color pencil. And now I'm going to add a shadow to my wintry landscape in the same process. I pick one side of the tree. Um, you can use a dark blue, a dark purple, um, any of those colors will work to create the shadow effect. This creates value and makes your tree look three-dimensional. Like with the fall tree, add shadows to each of the branches. Pick a side and keep it um, consistent. Which side you pick, whether it's the left or the right, you want to add the shadow to the same side of each branch and of the tree trunk. I'm also going to add just a few little spots of blue on the ground. This will be part of the snow banks that might be on the ground, the shadow that's created by those snow banks. I'm going to use just a little bit of water and spritz the landscape and then I'll add a few little white dots. For the snow, I cannot wait to see the beautiful landscapes that you create in this project.